please double do something do so oh that's a bucket all right all right all right so today i'm gonna be rebuilding a modern nba team around michael jordan it's 2024 and if you look right here you'll see michael jordan with hair he's young 19 years old the catch with this video is that i'm gonna be rebuilding an expansion team i got the seattle supersonics as my team and i also added in the baltimore bullets and over here in seattle we're gonna have the number one overall pick which yes i stole from toronto and the baltimore will have number two i just did that so that it's even you know you had two expansion teams one to each conference whatever you know obviously i don't have to decide this but every other team now has to decide who they're going to be protecting and uh we have to do it before i draft mike number one we have to do an expansion draft so screw it supersonics number one overall oh snap they actually let some players in here okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not opposed to taking one of the top players here like a vucevic or a jeremy grant or a draymond or a brogdon but is there actually deandre aiden's right here too damn i was about to say is there any like young players that they let slip through first overall i think i'm gonna go with the safe pick and get deandre aiden hopefully michael will beat the hell out of him if he you know plays out of line um bullets will get back-to-back -back picks they got vucevic and smart okay that's good to know where their head's at i might pick deandre hunter damn near i scrolled through i saw some interesting names i think i'm still gonna stick to the top guys for now i'm gonna take hunter second overall and then we get back to back i don't know how he even slipped in here but give me andrew nemhard he, he's like semi young and is on a, a a pretty affordable contract okay draymond will go next and then pj oh i didn't even peep he's 25 i'm not that mad at that at this point i'm just formulating the whole lineup around michael jordan so we've got every position again uh, except for the two guard and i'm saying that in with foreshadowing that i'm about to pick isaiah stewart 23 years old you know we got a fighter on the team then you know what after that i'm gonna go a bit deeper in the bag i see patrick baldwin's up here for with an a minus potential 21 years old 72 overall it just sounds interesting he'll be like our guy that we keep around for 20 years screw it why not okay aaron wiggins and kcp get picked next all right now it's time for like just normal players you know this is pretty much a given here just give me paul reed he was on a cheap contract plus he was the second highest overall player now after that do i want to get weird and pick up ben simmons i don't know oh yeah also in this video like i've had been doing recently i'm gonna have a hundred percent difficulty on trades so it's all the sliders all the way up in case you ain't been around lately or ever that doesn't mean i probably still can't i, I could probably still finesse someone to take ben simmons but um i'm thinking that you know we could save some money going into free agency that'd be pretty nice now i don't think any uh caleb houston's got a b plus potential that's pretty good maxwell lewis as well but that's the only other two interesting young prospects but i think they'll stick around maybe even in, through the whole draft but uh you know what screw it i'll take ben simmons one year left on his contract and then kevin herter i wanted kevin herter too but i knew they were gonna either take him or ben with the next pick so i was like screw it i'm gonna go back to back young picks here let me get caleb houston and let me get maxwell lewis screw it i don't want these high contract players it's been steven adams is staring at me menacingly though like i kind of want to draft them i might even try and finesse and trade him when free agency hits but screw it give me steven adams not that i don't like him but it's just like 12 million dollars for you know, he's probably about to progress to like a 77. Eh. Screw it. I'll take Craig Porter Jr. Cool little young player for the Cavs in real life. Oh, he just got a contract recently. All right. At this point, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the draft is uh, it is what it is. I'll take this sharpshooter, AJ Green, good wide receiver, and Kobe Brown. And the final pick in the draft. Really don't care to pick up Larry Nance. I'll take Yurt Savin. All right. NBA draft. What we've all been waiting for. Seattle Supersonics, number one overall pick. Michael Jordan, welcome to the team. Baltimore will select Stefan Cassell, number two overall. Says we have another pick. Well, I I guess that's probably just second round i mean this team has all default picks yeah um i mean shoot if we want to start shooting trades off rip so like i knew i had to pick deandre because he was the young player of the draft that was you know pretty good overall and everything but i'm um, well, actually both deandres but i don't want him shoot you can go like case and wallace off rip hey on the 100 trade difficulty i'll hey i might just take that yo i've never seen anything like this before this man deandre aiden last season had a negative 11 estimated wins that's the worst i've ever seen like without a doubt um i was looking at trades for him a lot and this one also looks really logical because we could just save 20 million and get mitchell robinson who's the same exact overall and has a higher star value i don't think that matters that much and mitchell robinson's not no some sort of like high value player in 2k anyways but i guess too though if i could just find a way to get him for case and wallace we do still have these other centers that can play the same role that mitchell robinson would be could i could i see because that shoot they it looks like they trying to hand out case so oh yeah for just straight up deandre hold on i might have to do that that. and we can get Jalen Williams I, I wanted to draft this dude in the expansion draft but I don't want to give away Nemhard. I just got him too though screw it I'm gonna do Aiden for Case and Wallace straight up see ya buddy I'm not I'm not invested in your rejuvenation of your career sorry to tell you I'm gonna just keep the rest of the team for now none of them are giving some sort of insane value I wanted to definitely get Case in because he's like a pretty high potential young player we still just have the sixth pick in the second round I don't think I could do better I could try you know what I might I might be cleaning house I can get Deon see DeAndre Hunter I know he's not 
notoriously like not the best 2k player he also i don't know what the hell is going on he had a negative eight estimated wins i mean i know the hawks were bad but damn it, it might be 2k start today system or something messing him up but i know he's got like decent little stats but he's notoriously kind of like how they be doing uh robert covington and like og and an ob in 2k where they're like kind of mediocre for the 10th pick though this is kind of undebatable and i might have saw another trade i might be doing too shoot we need to pull all the stops this is an expansion team yeah and this is it orlando steven adams for the 13th pick hey i rock with you steve we gonna have to give up our second round pick as well shoot can i not give this up can i like keep it what about one like next year because i i don't want to you know i, I want to develop all right screw it you could have the pick there you go we now have the 13th and the 10th picks in this draft as well so 10th overall pick ron holland still available don't know who the hell this is oh wow we have no scouting report because we didn't have a team that's kind of funny thankfully i kind of know who's the good players in this draft and uh you know what yeah let's just go with the safe option just just give me shout out to rob dillingham i see him getting like high rated in real life but he's still all the way down there in this at least um just saw cody williams highlight tape my twitter feed today i'm gonna take ron though big time like g league player whatever i don't know if he's been playing the best but damn those are the two dudes i was trying to pick was cody williams and, and zach can i see like what's our most needed things right now so we got paul reed at center i have case and wallace at the one i'm probably gonna have ben simmons at the three or whoever the hell i've drafted so far michael jordan at the two obviously and then isaiah stewart at the four and then i've just drafted ron holland really to start at the three forget ben simmons unless i put him at the four and uh uh, oh, Bronny James in here too. You already know they're going to be. I only want to draft them because I don't know how good all the other players are going to be right now. Like, I literally can't even see their strengths and weaknesses. You know what? Screw it, though. I'm going to go with the fun pick and get Rob Dillingham just because I'm pretty sure he's pretty, uh, he's supposed to go pretty high in real life. And I've got a lot of friends that have told me he's really good. Damn, he's a 70. Oh, Justin Edwards was. Damn. They low key cooked me. What was Bronny? 71. Okay, I don't feel that bad because, yeah, I wasn't going to, I was going to draft one of them too. All right, that's fine, though. That's fine. I, I We still got Case and Walls as our future point whoa why are they trying to get rid of patrick ball i just drafted this man in my expansion draft come on now he's got an a minus potentially probably won't progress i guess they must know more than me um we should have a ton of money now somehow we actually don't we don't have enough money for someone even like lebron but uh is there anyone oh you know what's crazy i just saw today on my timeline about damn how is nick claxon an unrestricted free agent and everything of that nature i don't even know was he a second he was he was the first pick in the second round that's so unlucky um we do have enough money to sign him and that's exactly what we need right now literally to a t um yeah i mean this sounds like the perfect scenario to just give him the bag why not right also malik monk's been hooping in real life he would be michael jordan's backup <laughs> duran's also out here because 2k stupid uh, that's just 2k's fault i don't know why he always ends up on the free agency stuff so if i sign claxton i'll still have 11 million left i'm also gonna overpay him probably he's getting a bunch of deals look at the pistons trying to take him but not trying to take duran you know it's screw it get your upgrade i guess but you won't be because i'm taking him uh yeah give him his let's screw it front load the contract just finesse him yeah let's go damn i gave him less money and he likes his deal more it doesn't even, doesn't even make sense maybe he likes the the why would you want more money now uh you know what that's a rhetorical question isaiah stewart if i don't trade you right now just know you get in trade next year by the way the only way only reason i'm looking at trades right now is because i realized that we have a 15 man roster so i have to trade people anyways but you know what there's some pretty obvious candidates i don't need no yurts of in I, aj green's kind of funny so i might keep him i'll just trade all ooh the jazz picks though swap best with jazz jazz or knicks like the knicks actually recently have been pretty good in the simulation i'm gonna take yeah i'm gonna take the jazz picks screw it i don't know why they would do that but yeah so we just got rid of three roster spots and that's perfect because i'm probably gonna sign like three players and maybe i could have sabotaged the knicks because it looks like they're actually in the lead from malik monk right now you know what though kelly Oubre might fit the team better because i was looking and we we more than a guard we need a wing we we just have ron holland at the three you know young guy he probably will still start regardless but then we got ben here but we also got like a fake big isaiah stewart right there we're about to have claxton at the center paul reed's also kind of short yeah screw we'll, we'll get another wing you know what tobias harris wouldn't be the worst thing in the world that's another player that maybe could be interesting for this team i know he's kind of old i mean we already have isaiah stewart um we can get miles bridges too screw we have no morals around here yeah i mean i can't lie miles has been hooping in real life so he's getting a four-year 54 from the from the hornets i'm gonna offer four year from loaded contract we should have a, yeah we have a little bit more money now after getting rid of all those other contracts so miles welcome to seattle buddy learn chinese and then actually crazily enough i should still have money for kelly Oubre, and he 
also slot into the rotation. So this is perfect. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't accept. Damn, give him four years, 21 million. I guess he don't rock with us. That's fine. I feel like Tobias and I'm, I'm in my basketball mind now. I feel like Tobias and Miles Bridges are kind of redundant. Without my guy Precious, not going to sign you to this team. Honestly, let's just get the safe pick. I'll grab Grayson Allen because he's been cooking in real life so far this season. Just two year deal. Screw it. Oh, shout out to my other guy, Hartenstein. Saw you got bumped up to a 92, uh, 82. Also, my guy Brunson got bumped up to a 92. I saw that 2K. I appreciate it. He's like a top 10 player in 2K ratings, maybe 15. I don't know. I will say though, 92 mid range is disrespectful. And I know that might sound crazy, but it really isn't though. It, does, it doesn't sound crazy. He should have like a 97 because that's like all he does damn near. Also, post fade 56. You out of your goddamn mind. What the hell is this? 56 post fade. Get, give him his normal post fade. He's at least a 93, maybe 93 and a half. I, re I really like the team right now. That, that should all, they all signed. I think that's every roster spot. So this is officially going to be the team. Screw it. Let's just, um, I'll, I'll grab some two-way contracts. Why not? We'll piss them off and then they'll hate us in a year. Oh, not that guy. This guy, that guy. Yeah, whatever. Just sign. This is what I like to do. Just sign them all. Just like damn near every player and then just simulate out. Oh, don't sign. You're not signing. Well, guess what? We'll get somebody. Ben Simmons. That's because I changed his rating. He's up to an 83. Okay. Nemhar went up to a 79. That's pretty good. Case and Wallace up to a 78. Isaiah Stewart's even improving. Greg Porter. Okay. Okay. Baldwin went up by one. That's pretty mediocre, but that's all right. Then we got these three guys who are going to be in purgatory down here. I like the, the culture that I could feel being built over here in uh, Seattle. I just realized we have, we almost have damn near three Brooklyn Nets because I thought this was Mikhail for a second. I forgot that's Miles. I mean, I didn't, but like I just saw the name and you know, this looks like I'm playing with the Nets right now. Shout out to Mikhail. I saw him on that Jalen Brunson podcast <laughs> and I saw that my whole timeline was Nets fans came out the woodworks to be mad at him because like they were clowning him for the Nets not having fans and uh, he was just like, yeah, yeah, you're right. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I power to the all the people in the world, you know, man. It's bigger than basketball. That was supposed to come off satirical, but it sounded too serious. Um, also, they they uh, they hired our coach as Michael Stauffer. You know, that's always a good thing. I didn't even do that. He was just there already. He's got all the A plus ratings in lace. In case you know, what I'm saying you don't know that, and uh, which you could also see right there. Oh, this this is not the lineup I want though. Can we um put on a young filter or whatever? Yeah, get Ron Holland in there. Yeah, there you go. And then Ben's fine. And then with our recent signings, yeah, I, I'm not playing. I. I might play Isaiah Stewart a little bit eventually, but for now though, I actually need to get Rob Dillingham in the rotation. Oh, don't get in the reserves though. That's not that's not correct. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Craig Porter, you might be an odd man out. Oh wait, who the hell is it? You the odd man out. I'm gonna need my guy Rob to play. And actually, I am gonna try and finesse. So Nemhar, you don't need to play this much. You don't need to play this much. You don't need to play this much. I get like seven minutes to Stewart, and then give Michael Jordan like 38. Give Ron Holland the rest of them. Everybody else, y'all gotta earn your minutes, okay? Um, actually, you know, take a few from Miles. Sprinkle out a few to uh him and case and wallace you know i think the last time I, ben simmons is usually elite in simulations also in case you want to see like the actual numbers bada bing there you go my face cam's gone whatever i think the last time i had traded for ben simmons i'm like oh he's usually good in 2k and he actually was terrible and was tanking our season so that'll be something to monitor just go with a balanced system don't play it too stupid also i think i saw that miles bridges this man jordan already has a 99 shot tendency miles has actually increased it was at a 65 and put him up to like an 85 84 something like this i might actually want to start him over ben honestly he just makes more sense for the lineup but whatever we'll just leave it like this for now but I, I can see the team being like play inbound first season and i wouldn't be mad at it you know it's michael jordan on the team we want to like keep him semi-competitive so as he doesn't blow a fuse it, do not trade me duncan robinson's contract especially in 2k he's real good in real life he's real solid um as i record this tonight i'll probably have this out by tonight but uh the three-point contest is oh no it's tomorrow um it's saturday tomorrow saturday shoot they got the celebrity game uh i don't know yeah all, all the like it's funny like all the all-star stuff is like semi i was talking about on my stream yesterday actually um so i didn't go to the all-star stuff you know i've been around the world i've been i've been taking global trips sometimes i didn't feel like going because i personally didn't feel like going but also there's not much like compelling you know like the all-star game sometimes they don't try oh hold on real quick real quick box score watch we just beat the uh what the hell they're running a 48 minute rotation the baltimore bullets they're running 48 what i'm not controlling i'm not controlling them yo who is their coach i, I don't think if i take control of them it'll change anything hold Hold on let me just let me just see who the hell is their coach mike campbell who is this and why 48 minutes that's what this man draymond doesn't even play they got oh josh hart's in hell he thought he got away from tip this is actually a really funny team to be playing 48 minutes a game like marcus smart and josh hart just out there thugging it out honestly draymond would be hilarious in a 48 minutes a game as well it, he'd be playing like how he was in that one playing game when he missed that floater like three years ago when steph was out there with uh who was that one little trash point guard they had he wasn't that trash um kai bowman they was 
out there with Kai Bowman, and uh, I think they already traded for Wiggins. I think they already got Russell out of there. They had Draymond out there just, uh, uh, just pouting, puffing and puffing. I don't even know if he played that much, but I just remember him always looking tired as hell. Hey, low key. So we were having like a eight to eight fourteen start to the season, like a little bit under five hundred. We're thirty one and nineteen now. This is good for it says fifth in the conference up there, pretty solid. We're also in the West because you know Seattle's the top left of the map. I saw uh, shout my guy Vince Staples. I watched his show. There was a clip of him on Paul George's podcast where he said the what would he do with, with if he got the commissioner role for the NBA and he said that he would bring out a map because there ain't no damn way Minnesota's in the Eastern Con or in the Western Conference they're East I have you know it's funny because as a kid like as a little kid like I knew the NBA conferences more than I knew the actual map but then once I because that's like you know pre-middle school even I didn't really give a damn about stuff like that but then once I look at a map I'm like wait why is New Orleans in the East why is Memphis I mean sorry why is New Orleans and Memphis in the West like you really think about it because then you look at uh shoot they're in the West but they're like on the same pane as Chicago like if you were like like ladder uh whatever la longitude latitude whatever the hell this one is up and down I don't know I traded for them damn jazz picks and they stole Pascal I don't know where that oh never mind they, they just traded Lori for Pascal I guess that's kind of the same thing did they actually trade they might actually trade yeah they traded I thought they maybe made a uh, what's it called also it's probably the traded line like literally right now I'm, I'm gonna do a little evaluative effort on this team real quick also do we have any contracts to resign uh Ben Simmons let me see how you're playing because I might want to lock lock you up for a few seasons not not like jail uh Jordan 32 4 and 5 a game now I just think it's how they're wired in 2k I don't think Kobe ever dominated for my team like this when we was doing the Kobe video whenever I did that like a week or two ago Michael though he's got that gene of just I don't know what the hell they give him in 2k Ron Holland also 19 a game so he's not gonna win rookie of the year because Michael's gonna win rookie of the year but he might be second oh he's third he's third anyways though to focus on our team again this man Ben Simmons you know what screw it just go to the wins added because you know you can't really tell by his other stuff okay cool he's in the positive now case and Wallace in the negatives and he's our starting PG you know I remember recently I had Case and Wallace on my team in one of these and he was on the negatives and then he eventually became really good down the line. I might bench him. I'm not really sure why he would be bad right now because he's got insane shooting stats all around. He's got pretty good passing stats. I mean, I know he's got a great defensive stats, right? I didn't even, I skimmed over him. Yeah, like he's just good at everything. I don't know why the hell you wouldn't be good, but that's why I really liked him. Even before he got drafted, I saw, uh, oh, is it shoot? He just doesn't shoot, but he shoots though. He's averaging seven and five. Like that sounds like pretty decent to me. You know what? I'm actually not going to fall for this. I'm just going to keep him starting because I was going to say I might just bench him and start Simmons at the one or whatever. Shoot, even Rob Dillingham's playing pretty damn. Okay, Rob. Yeah, aside from Case and everyone's playing good, so I'm not even going to look too deep into it. Miles Bridges playing elite off the bench so i might even just give him a few more minutes but i'm gonna keep him off the bench still did they just reset no these are the same never mind i am gonna re-sign ben simmons yes yeah, screw it we'll go we'll go four-year deal you know what i'm saying finesse it take some money from him you know what i'm saying hate hate us please andrew nemhard's up to an 80 it says he's been playing pretty decent um we did just lock up a pretty decent amount of money but i could always make some finesse you know what i'm saying like it's michael jordan it's my, i might act this video might go for a minute just because i might have fun with this and yeah the reason why i did an expansion team i don't think i ever said this was because um i went to go and do the lottery and the wizards got the number one pick again and i it was a league that i deleted and i'm like damn that would be the same team i used in the kobe video but i'm like also though that's the toughest team so i was like but what could be tougher just an expansion team in, to an extent you could say the contracts i could just not draft tough contracts well i drafted ben simmons with his 40 million dollars um so there's also that oh my god twitter over here can i say some they did this whole thing with twitter like or x or whatever the hell you want to call it like a few months back we're gonna start paying money first month comes in i get a bag from them i'm like what the hell is this about i'm talking to a few of my friends who also got back yo since then they just give you ten dollars pennies on the dollar i'm like what the hell was that one i'll be thinking about this but i'll be going off on tangents in these nba video nba 2k videos that i could literally make in a specific base videos that would I don't know if anyone would care, but like I made a bag from Twitter off of one month of quote unquote ad revenue, whatever the hell Elon was trying to do. And then I, and then every month since they give you $10, I'm making back the subscription. I, I you know, like what the hell is this? All right, big yoke, one MVP. You already know Jordan won rookie of the year. This is a, without whatever, without any concern. 32, four and five a game, two steals, 63% from the field, 80% from the line. And of course, the fantastic 
percent from three. DeAndre Aiden, six man of the year in OKC. I mean, I gave you away for pennies on the dollar. I don't regret it. Funnily enough, though, yeah, we would. I mean, I wouldn't have had the money to make some of the signings I made, but I also maybe we would have been better if I had you. I don't really know. Um, who do we have starting at center? Oh, we got Claxton. Yeah, never mind. Screw you. I don't give a damn. And Jalen Duran, most improved player in Brooklyn. Could have signed him, but I feel like I get him pretty often, and and I just feel Pistons just be stupid as hell in the free agency. So I don't know. Victor made the first team in his second season. He is a 93. It's not really that. It is crazy. He's an 89 in 2K right now. Like as of today, I've never seen a rookie rated that high. I don't think a rookie ever has been rated that high. But yeah, I really don't. I really don't. Especially because like Victor, it's weird. Like players like Ja and even Zion to an extent, but really like guys like Ja or like Trey Young coming and like feel really refined. But maybe it's because like they have, they're like young, but they have more coordination with their body because they're not that tall. But Victor, when you watch him, he doesn't feel like he's supposed to be as good as he is, if that makes any sense, even though he inevitably is. Whatever. If you get it, you get it. He just expresses his dominance on the court through like all facets, like not necessarily getting the ball all the time. And then people meme him and they're like Spurs passing the ball. Also, Jordan already made the all defensive second team. And then Ron Holland did finish second in rookie of the year. And we were the second seed in the conference. That's a crazy bounce back from that kind of mediocre start we had. I would say we might be the most dangerous team in here because just off of the strength and yeah, Casey Wallace on D'Angelo, LeBron, AD. We got Ben and Claxton on LeBron and AD. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, but yeah, we're playing LeBron in, in our first playoff appearance with Michael Jordan. I might have to just sim cash just for that. It's always nice when we're in the Western Conference in these videos, so I don't have to worry about my face cam covering the uh, the playoff picture. Hold on. Screw it. First ever playoff game, 97-97. We're right in the script. We're right in the story. Oh, yeah, this... I ended up going with the uh, like very vintage Seattle stuff. So we're just in the vintage Seattle arena. And Jordan is on LeBron right now at this moment. He is on Bron. Bron goes left, bullies Mike, and bu just bullies him. It's Easter, by the way. Happy Easter. Um, Not really in real life, but maybe it is. In that always happens. I'll say something like that, and people will comment. Oh, I'm watching this on Easter seven years later. Oh, oh, that's off. Rebound by Vanderbilt. Pass up. Who was that wearing 53? Was that Drummond? Did Drummond go back to the Lakers? I don't know. I, I think that is him. Him. AD in the Jesus. Yeah, we just put it the uh, forward the worst effort you possibly could have in this uh, last 20 seconds. Jordan going at Bron. Does Bron still wear the headband? I feel like when I saw him, he maybe he was. I don't know. Jordan left. Step back. He'll pull. That's all. Yeah, he just don't got it yet, man. I low-key should have just signed LeBron just to put him with Mike. Hey, there's always next year. Maybe there isn't, though. But he might retire. Man, Ben Simmons want to sub in now. Like, it matters. Oh, then they want to call timeouts. Yeah, just get me out of this game. Yeah, it's all. Over. LeBron had 24, Ron Holland had 26, and Michael Jordan had three for 14 shooting with four turnovers in his first playoff game. That's actually not that. That's uh, that's abysmal. Yeah, that's not good. And to be fair, I'm acting like the Lakers are like the higher advantage in this, but we are the second seed. They're the seventh seed. They're a playing team. You know what I'm saying? We losing games on our home court and everything. Okay, there you go. There you go, Mike. 33 and 11 for Michael Jordan on 15 for 20. He he heard me. The bastard heard me. Also, Andre Drummond, elite signing to the Lakers. I know he was already there in real. Life. Life, but I really mean in a 2K sense because you know how Andre Drummond moves in 2K. Oh, we're smoking him again. Another win. About to come out. Whoa, okay. Um, They just came back entirely in the fourth quarter, I guess. And I think they're at the line. They just hit a free throw. So it's about to be 105 left. Oh, okay. I guess they only hit one free throw. Maybe it was a defensive three or something. Whatever. We're in LA. We got the ball up by one with a minute 05 to go. Jordan's guarded by Austin Reeves. It actually looks like just the normal lineups in. Actually, no. Miles Bridges is still in. Damn. I got to stop playing him so much because he cannot guard anthony davis um and i might just have to make him a small forward actually oh yeah right i, I think i didn't do that because i took out oh my goodness jordan that's a terrible shot go, go with a head of steam buddy i don't give a damn how young you are get to the hoop get to the rim they're about to run a pick and roll with ado no they're not pass over vanderbilt i don't even think i have foul outs on you saw that 48 minute of game team over there and what's it called in uh, baltimore so i don't know where the hell lebron is but ad said screw it i got it anyways lebron is just on the bench comfortably did he foul out i don't i don't even know no he's just on the bench delo's leading the team in scoring though according to that thing i just saw also yeah please get yeah good time out get this man a, well i mean not for offense but ideally for defense get this man ben simmons in the game oh i forgot that also means lebron sub back in he is guarding ben i got ad at center okay that's fine by me oh yeah i forgot yeah actually ad is supposed to be at center oh jordan pulls up that's good to take the lead by one hey that's a good shot because that leaves him with 27 to go so they can't take the last shot i'm, I'm cool with that all right into reeves also we have no timeouts left which is just abysmal they're gonna work it down 
down to Braun in the post against Ben. Best defender, one of the best I'd want on him. Come on, please. Defense. Oh, Ben Simmons. Beautiful. Pass the pass the ball. No, he didn't pass the ball, you stupid bastard. You always want to pass the ball out of layups and everything, but not now. Get the hell out of here. 47%. Oh, you already know this one's off. Hold on. This bastard. Pass the ball. I've, I always see them swing the ball so fast in all those scenarios, and now he want to... We're about to lose this game just off of that. That's so crazy. Please double. Do something. Do... So oh, that's a bucket. That's a bucket. That's a bucket. That's a bucket. It's over. LeBron James, game winner. It's over. It's over. This man, Ben Simmons, with the stop to save the game and the free throws to sell the game. Hold on. What'd he do? Did he not... He scored two points. I, I, I hate you. A little bit. We might lose this series because of free throws. Or not. About to steal a game in LA. It looks like. For real this time. There you go. And I'll take this one as well. 124, 102. Jordan had 47. And we won. That's... Oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa. Okay, I just simulated the round that we were already in. What am I... Yo, I hate this stupid menu. We won by one. I didn't even realize it was about to end because it was only 96, 95 in this economy, in this era. But Jordan had 23. And actually, oh, Le LeBron had 19. I thought he had 23 as well. I was going to say that was poetic. But we got them out of here eventually got to being down 2-1 we are playing the pelicans just normal pelicans round two this one's not as interesting but they still could smoke us uh you know nothing really would surprise me uh, tied 1-1 one, one, down 2-1 down 3-1 and 2-3 give less minutes to rob dillingham nah that's my guy at this point we going down with the ship whatever i don't even know how he's playing but it is what it is oh we kind of just came back with a few minutes to go but they're still fighting okay you know what one stop and a bucket would change this game and they have the ball i see trey murphy was inbounding it got McCollum on the receiving end, probably. Actually, no, it's going to be Herb Jones comes into the backcourt. He'll probably hand it off to Ingram or something. Oh, no, McCollum comes back. McCollum got about. This is a fantastic defensive team. The only weak link in this current lineup is Miles, and he usually doesn't even start. Uh, that's probably why we're so good, actually. I got to check out the team ratings after this loss, probably. Uh, McCollum, oh my God. Yep, it's a loss. Jesus. Oh, great. Ben Simmons subbed in for the three pointer we need. That's good. Miles Bridge is only the, one of the only reputable shooters we had. Jordan goes left. He'll just go to the basket, say, screw it and there's the game well series over um that was fun fun while it lasted jordan had 37 and 13 and ron holland had 31 and we lost case and wallace two for 10 okay yeah buddy you might have to hit the bench. um this offseason upgrade let me let me look at the playoff stats as well because yeah them two were just carrying it looks like yeah jordan averaged 31 in the playoffs to be fair he did this in the regular season too okay so i mean th that was his first really bad game it looks like grace and allen also not the best but yeah i'm not that mad at that and the cavaliers and thunder go to the final and the Thunder winning in seven. Chet wins finals MVP. Hey, I did want to check that one thing. Team stats during the season. Let me see. Defensive rating. I feel like we, yes, we had the best defensive rating and the 12th best offensive rating. It's not terrible. But yeah, that's obviously where we need to improve. But hey, best defensive rating is very elite. Oh my, look at the, the bullets. Jesus, they had a 98 offensive rating with that. What the hell were they doing? What even happened? Where did their team go? They got Chris Paul. Where did Chris Paul even come? They traded for Chris Paul. Paul, and they traded someone else they had someone else at the four i don't know maybe i'm did they not they drafted this rookie and they didn't play him did they oh no they did wait nah that looked like one game stats hold on nah i'm probably wrong they played him for five games oh yeah yeah this team is unserious it's funny though i've never seen a naturally occurring 48 minute rotation five players hell let me turn off the rule changes i only had to turn these off for the expen expansion rule i actually meant to show this last year because there was a rule that said uh remove the restrictions to win awards like the mb thing and um it was already and it was literally waiting for me to approve it. I'm like, oh, all right, sure. That M that Embiid MVP stuff is uh is fake outrage though. I'm not gonna lie. Just because there's been like one or two players ever that have won MVP with less than 65 games in a season, and he's gonna have well less than 65. I think the least ever was like 58 by Bill Walton or something like that. Aside from that, like it's a big gap between that and the next few. So Embiid's gonna play like 50 games this season, maybe 40 something. So there's no way in hell he could have won MVP. Literally, like I don't, I don't. Now, I will say the reason why in the game, even I said, oh, yeah, screw it. Get rid of the rules because the all NBA thing is stupid because MB not making an all NBA team or Halliburton isn't going to make one. I believe now is dumb. The Kings get the first pick. Damn, the bullets drop from a one to five. And I don't think we have any. Wait, do we? What team are we getting? Supersonic? Oh, no, I didn't trade for any pick. I traded for picks next year. I'm pretty sure starting next year. All right, let me see what uh what the trade market's looking like. Now, I like most of our players, but like any Grace, I'm about to say Grace and Allen's probably 
25. Kind of semi-old. Craig Porter doesn't play. Patrick Baldwin, I told you I'm going to keep you around. AJ Green, you can get the hell out of here. You've had your time. The rest of you, though, I mean, you're the team at this point. We just made it pretty far. Let me see. Okay, they don't want those three bastards. What about you two? Oh, nobody? Oh, 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 he's a free agent. Okay, bet. Yeah, just not him. Just anything at all. Judah Mintz, he was a top pick last year. He was a 19th pick. I'd low-key be interesting. He makes a decent amount of money, but uh, Nurkic, hell no. But according to this, though, we should have some decent money because if we could trade for a dude who's making 19 million, that means we should have a lot of money in the offseason. Even 25? Oh, yeah, we're about to have a bag. So let me not, uh, let me not, let me not give away the money, whatever. Can you not, you can't see individual players' defensive ratings? That kind of sucks because I'll be looking at the team defensive rating, but you can't look at players as individual ones because you would think that, you know, that would be conducive to like see who's actually impacting it because I was going to check and see if Ben Simmons was like a huge impact. He probably was though. Let's be honest. His defense is probably the reason why he's an 84 overall, which he's not, but I made him a power forward. So he became one. Um, Yeah, it's really just overall defense and rebounding. You know what? I could see myself get, but I did just re-sign Nemhard. Paul Reed just kind of around. I kind of just forget he's here. You know what? Let me check real quick. Who was the, uh, the highest impact players? Because those two guys that I was looking at, Grayson's getting kind of old and the other dude doesn't play. So they're kind of you no know, givens. Oh my God, this man Jordan was carrying. This is one of the craziest carries I've ever seen, especially for a first year. Damn, yeah, Nemhard's down here. And then Stewart, I don't play enough, I'll be honest. Paul Reed's actually got three wins added, so that's pretty good. It's actually, more than Nick Claxton. All right, you know, Josh Hart and Marcus Smart are begging me to get them out of Baltimore. Yeah, I really like these dudes that Memphis got. Literally, these two dudes, Gigi Jackson, Vince. I like Vince Williams a lot. He's a cool guy. He, he plays defense, gets a bunch of assists, rebounds. Not in 2K, but in real life. I saw a very interesting trade. Nemhard and Grayson Allen for the eighth pick. So I'd be keeping Stewart in this trade, getting an eighth pick that would slide in on the rotation. I'm probably going to have decent money to sign somebody this offseason. Anybody interested in popping up in these? I think the pick might just be the best bet. Let me actually just go see what what team was it? Or not Thunder, but any other team like would be willing to offer me a pick for something. And Michael Jordan for the fifth pick. Get the hell out of here. I thought it was the Thunder because I saw Poku, but it's actually the Sixers. They traded for him. Um, they still gave me the most interesting offer. Actually, even better. Instead of even having to get Poku, I could just trade Nemhard for the uh for the eighth pick. That's cool with me. Nemhard has been real. You know what I'm saying? Go enjoy your time over there, buddy. And then Allen. I'm going I'm to just get you out of here solo, I guess. You and uh, AJ Green. Let's be honest. Maxwell Lewis not making the rotation. I might as well get him out of here as well. I'll take I'll take Judah Mintz in a pick. The young PG dude. 71 overall. I'll do that. It's not a pick this year, but we, we now have the 29th pick, the 8th pick, and the last pick in the second round. That's one, That one's just going to go to waste. Um, Ace Bailey. Damn, where's where's Cooper Flag? Did I pick the wrong draft? Whoa, whoa. What did I do? Is this, a, is this the right draft or, or did I pick the wrong draft? Oh, no. There he is. Damn, he still hasn't been picked. At four, at five. Hold on, let me call up Baltimore. I might have to finesse. They don't like playing their players anyways. So, see, no, 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 not five and Michael Jordan. How about if I give you eight and then I give you my guy? Shoot, I could damn near just give him Judah Mintz, who I just got. Yeah, screw it, just try that. No, throw him that thirtieth pick. They don't give a damn. We low key stocked up crazy on picks. They got a Timberwolves pick next year, a Spurs best with Hawks pick next, a Spurs pick next year. They might still be kind of bad. Uh, what about our twenty twenty nine first? Try that. They are taxing for this. This. this is for Cooper Flag though. Like I got, I gotta throw my best bet at this because I didn't expect him to fall this far. I dead fuck. I, I I dead thought I I loaded in the wrong draft class. I, I've never seen him fall this far. Okay, I rock with Judah. What if I could just do Isaiah Stewart and nothing else? Literally just this. Okay, no. Throw two firsts in there. I pick this year and I pick in 2028. Damn. And uh, a second from us next year. And screw the 30th pick. Uh, I'm fighting for this right now. Damn, three firsts would be crazy, but they don't have any value anyways. I had to throw out the bag man i traded judah mince isaiah I, I like this little 100 trade difficulty though i still like it i had to trade them uh all oh, right it's baltimore i could just look it was judah mince isaiah stewart as you could see up here and then judah and then I, I i traded our 29th pick this year and our like 2029 first that was the full trade um oh sorry i was on the wrong dude yeah he's there now so we we, we flipped him but now we've got this pick and a i they they let him they they let me get the guy cooper flag screw it just feel like he's the saving grace why not so that's that's what we got out of isaiah stewart judah mince grayson allen or no no andrew nemhard i don't know oh i guess grayson allen kind of technically because he was in the other trade yeah sure i don't know it's interesting i guess he could play um either the four or the three i might have to get rid of ben at this point or he could just play ben kind of could just play any slot so yeah i could did have ben starting a pg next year and i think our last pick is just the 30th pick in the draft so should i even just look at trading him now i don't really want to though i feel like it's too 
early. I want to make sure I can get like a good replace, like a good free agent replacement. And also, there isn't any good trade. So yeah, just let me keep him. Um, but get out of this draft though. This, you know what? Screw it. Let me see who's at the last pick in the draft. The Mister Irrelevant, the Brock Purdy. I honestly didn't know that was a thing until recently that they call their last pick in the NFL that. I guess. Hold on, LeBron. Man, give me LeBron. Give me LeBron Philip. They named the kid LeBron. Oh, it's not even the last pick. I forgot they added two more teams. I'm one of them. Cooper flag 80 overall off rip. LeBron Phillips. Screw it. Welcome to the team, I guess. One year. Can I give him a two-way deal? Ah, damn. I don't really want to sign you. Screw it. I could just trade you. They want to get rid of Craig Porter and Patrick Baldwin. You know what? Patrick Baldwin, you making four million. I might rock with you. I might sign you back for like a little baby deal. Because it'll actually be cheaper than four million if I really feel like giving you like some sort of loyalty clause. I don't even know why I feel like doing this, but I got you from that expansion draft. So like now I feel like we have a bond, a connection, something special. But um low key, Craig might have to stay around because ah no, we're gonna get somebody else that's better. Yeah, screw it. Just go. Okay, free agency. We have enough money off rip to sign. Uh, I, I joked about getting LeBron. Not gonna lie, I'm not signing LeBron over Jason Tatum or Donovan Mitchell though. Um I think the last video I did it's nice actually i've been doing a lot of videos so i actually remember what i did in one of these videos or i had got donovan but i don't think i want to do the same thing again even though i was about to say it because it was kobe and it fits the same because kobe and mike play the same and he would be perfect because damn i might just do it because he would be perfect because we literally need a pg and he could just play the pg um, i mean i guess we don't need one but we do because casein wasn't you know the most efficient or whatever i don't know whatever the advanced stats said but i could also just go for tatum who's a dominant four a wing um we could run an insane tall body lineup with simmons at the one tatum at the three cooper flag somewhere bench i don't know um ron holland still here we'd have the wings of death and then that'd basically be like a very modern lineup plus mike we'd be running like a very half court ish offense but also fast paced because we'd have ben simmons running the way i don't know i'm uh yeah i'm figuring something out or i could get Kyrie in this one Kyrie would cost me 35 ish million he's got some decent off he's got a great offer from dallas he might not even want to sign here paul george got a terrible offer from chicago he's also regressing though so that's why and then you also got lebron out here he's got an a really good one year, $46 million deal from the Lakers. I can outmatch that if I felt like it for one year. But also, well, who's going to be, you know what, actually do this real quick because I might do that for fun. Who's going to be available next year? Contract years remaining one, one or less. Joel Embiid, is he, is he, uh, he's got a player option. Luca's got one. He'll probably decline. Victor's not going to be unrestricted. Donovan's already here. So he's, yeah, there. And that's really it for like the top of the top players. You know, one thing I just noticed about our team. Team. We were the worst team in attempting threes last season. Now we shot league average from three, but we attempted 21 threes. Now that might just be because, you know, our main scorer average is like 35, 32, and he doesn't shoot threes, but it's crazy because we don't shoot threes as a team even really. Um, With that being said, I've been sitting here pondering this decision for minutes. Jason, I, I actually almost convinced myself LeBron was the guy and I was going to do a one-year rental, but he didn't want to. So it's between Tatum and Mitchell. They both accepted i actually thought i was going to be pinned into mitchell because on tatum's player card yeah it said the celtics were above us so i'm like oh he's going back to boston but he accepted so now i'm stuck i'm really stuck i genuinely have pondered in my mind the concept of doing a wheel i might do a wheel now the thing is is this is the big thing that really hurts me in this decision too so obviously like i said i've signed donovan in recent times tatum it would be interesting with that lineup i said um i was looking at our assist i think we're like top seven in in the league and in, in assist anyways but i do think we could use like a great lead guard but with that being said donovan isn't necessarily a great lead playmaking guard he maybe in real life he's starting to get better at that but he averaged five assists this past season whereas tatum almost did as well so like now he did average more points better percentage from the field damn now i just feel like picking him better percentage from the field uh i doubt we need rebounds i think we might be like the best rebounding team in the league what the hell is this we're, we're seventh in rebounding so yeah we're, we're just about we're definitely not deficient in it let's just say that much we're two off of being the best in the league so you know the tatum eight rebounds isn't really moving me he he just fits the team so well man i might have to do it now this is the thing there is a thing in my mind that's saying that next offseason i could 
also see myself trading. Man, but do I just make Mike a PG? He averages five assists his damn self. It'd be like an unstoppable defensive lineup. What's Donovan's defensive stuff look like? What's his defensive stuff? 75 perimeter. I know Tatum's has to be way better. 89 perimeter, 82 interior. He would be an insane replacement at the four for uh, for Ben Simmons in the starting five. Um, I already have it planned out too that basically Miles Bridges already have him at a two actually. So he's going to be instead of the four, that was terrible when they would have him in on AD. He's six, seven. He's not primed for that. But Ben would come off the bench this season next to Miles. They would be running some sort of bench mob. And then we'd have Cooper flag and Ron Holland starting or actually not only one of them could start, I think. But that's the thing. No, actually, both of them could start because I'd be have I'd have Mike at the PG if I was assigned either one or the two Donovan or Tate. I don't I might just spin the wheel. I'm kind of starting to feel like Tate. I feel like Donovan's. Why am I taking so much time on this? I got the answer and I got the answer that's going to tell you who I'm about to pick and why. I just recently built a very, very similar team with Donovan Mitchell. So I'm going to feel unfulfilled if I win a championship with Donovan Mitchell heading the ship. So screw it. We're going to try my Michael Jordan experiment and we are signing Jason Tatum. Donovan uh, also too, I have considered the concept of just trading the, like everybody and signing both, but I kind of like this team. It's pretty cool. So, you know, I'd, I'd probably have to trade um just all of the, th the, would, would it be worth it to trade Claxton, Bridges, and Ben Simmons? I'm acting like these are like some insanely high coveted assets, but I mean, Mike did carry. Do I just trade all of them? I think it was that after Tatum's contract, it would have had like 3 million left. So if I was to trade all of these guys' contracts, then I'd have like, I'd have to get like 40 million. So this would probably get close. Yeah, if I traded all three of them for literally nothing, it'd be 42 million. But I don't even know if that's possible. It, it probably is possible because I'm seeing all these guys who are making like 5 million, then I could trade the guy who's making five million for nothing or keep him in trade paul reed who's making eight million as well like damn but nah you know what i'm gonna keep the team and forget donovan sorry donovan jason tatum we gonna we gonna make you know what i'm saying uh shoot you want to be kobe all the time we gonna have a kobe jordan duo why not i i really did low-key want lebron i wanted to do a one year of lebron and then after lebron i would go get luca next year i thought that would have been really fire but uh especially because we're not like in a crazy contract um hell right now damn i have to renounce the rights to patrick baldwin damn that sucks well, Oh, see you, buddy. Jason, welcome to the team. Donovan's still out here. Yeah, so 42 million. So that I would have a uh, shoot. I don't know. Is there any? I, I guess I could get like, but Paul George is generally about to be worse than all of our wings. I could just go budget and get D'Lo. D'Lo would be a, a facilitator. He only averages five assists. But if I wanted to say screw Rob Dillingham and uh, get an actual backup for one season that like is a little bit more, what's it called? You know what I'm saying? Christine ready for the league. Shoot, he maybe would even start. Now nah, we got Case and Wallace. Screw it. I'm going to just troll and keep trying to sign Donovan. Donovan. I think that'll be funny. Um, are we number one again? Oh no, he went somewhere else. He he learned. All right, screw it. Lock in Tatum. That leaves us with one million dollars. Yeah, that would have been hell to make that cap space. Man, Donovan is still available on day one of free agency. And now he's just trying to go back to Cleveland. I could dead man thirty eight million dollars. Don't do it. I swear to God, don't do it. No, I'm actually gonna go with my guns. We're we're genuinely gonna stick with the team. Okay, so but do I need any assurance in any other positions? Probably just another PG just for the hell of it, or a two or something, a guard. A singular guard. Screw it. Let me get D Schroeder. Damn, six million? You want six million? Screw it. I did it anyways. And I grabbed someone else. Caruso on a minimum. And you know what? Where's my guy at? Damn, I don't got money for Patrick Baldwin. Damn. He want money, money. Okay. I respect it. You will get that somewhere else because it ain't going to be from here. All right. Free agency finally over. Jason Tatum now the best player. Michael Jordan's up to a 90. So we got their little duo going to be going. I think it's going to be one of the best half court offenses you could ever ask for, especially with Ben Simmons on the bench now and the two rooks probably joining alongside them in the starting five. Casey Wallace is up to an 80. Claxton's still just an 85. Ron Holland's up to an 81. Rob Dillingham's up to a 74. He's probably still going to play over Dennis this season. I don't really give a damn. I love it. I love it, honestly. There was really no wrong answer with the Donovan thing. I just, I, I'm be honest, like, especially after what I've seen, you know what I'm saying? Grabbing Donovan and like being championship contenders off rip in that, in that uh, Kobe video, I'm just being honest. I've said it enough times at this point. Um, I was like, damn, it's tempting to just do it since I think it's going to work really well. And this team is probably even better than that team all right off rip yeah i'm gonna try my experiment how many assists did case and wallace average last season four that's pretty good honestly but uh i am damn jordan goes down to an 88 i'm gonna just make him a shooting guard and allow him to play the one screw it and then after that do i just keep flag off the bench this season eh, i feel like he's gonna be a dog though yeah you know what nah yeah start him it's just such a crazy lineup so uh just just let um let ron holland be able to play the two he goes down
goes down too much as well. So just let him play there. Oh, I forgot Case and Wallace can actually just play back a point now. So yeah, I might actually just run a four man rotation. Um, Dillingham, maybe in a few years, buddy. Not right now. After uh, he, he had a pretty good last season, but pretty solid. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna just run this rotation for now. So we're gonna go a ton of Mike minutes, a ton of Tatum minutes. Give a lot of them to Cooper. Give a lot of them to Ron. And honestly, let let my bench guys. Let uh Miles. He had a great defensive or I'm sorry, a great offensive year last year on the bench. So let him eat still. And so far we have yet to lose a game. 10 and 0, rolling. Maybe this was the greatest strategy of all time. I don't know. We finally lost to the Clippers just now. If Donovan was like some sort of supreme playmaker, like like a Luca or something, I definitely would have signed. It would have been no question. But since he was only averaging like four assists, yeah, we screw it. We'll try out the Jordan PG experiment. Why not? And it's working. It's not even an experiment no more. It's a revolution. Trade deadline 44 and 6. Paul Reed. Hey, screw it, Paul. You've been solid. Shoot. Four year deal. We gonna we gonna rob you. It's like a 360 deal. Welcome. Jordan's averaging 30. His stats have oh, and he's averaging seven and a half assists at the one. Oh yeah. My experiment worked. I mean, I guess he did do this in real life too a lot of the time. But um Tatum's are also up. I this wasn't even what I was looking forward to, but um, I guess I'll take it as well since I was looking so deeply into that earlier on. I guess it is true. They have two of the younger guys in the rotation with them now, Cooper Flag and Ron Holland. So I guess they did need to pass because Ben's no longer starting. And Ben averaged six in the starting lineup last year's assist. And then Casey Wallace as well. He's down to a pretty efficient bench run right now. And then Jordan, I think it said, was shooting just under 60%. I mean, he doesn't need to carry the team as much this year, but he's still on pace to get over 20 estimated wins, still carrying. They got him wired crazy in 2K right now. And then Kaysen, still in the negatives, but I'm not worried about it. We were such a crazy defensive team last year. I would assume, I mean, obviously we're number one with a record like this. And then I would assume, oh, okay, we're fourth in offensive rating. And then I think this is just going to be the case as long as we got players like Ben Simmons and Kaysen Wallace off the bench. And then we're far and away number one in defensive. That's really what's leading the, the pack right now. Leading, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, the helm of the ship. I don't know if that even makes sense in this context. We are nine games better than the Thunder, who are nuts. And I think just one the finals last year so that probably means we'll lose to, to actually not even the thunder it'll just be some random team in the second round probably that's probably how it'll go is there anything that can make this team even more overpowered even paul reed 48 minutes okay my bad i gave schroeder a one plus one year deal i forgot i did that i actually wanted to give him a two-year deal so i could trade him eventually i don't even know how the hell amir coffee got here screw it i'm gonna trade these two for jock landale and a pick from the rockets or nets yeah that works don't know why they would do that and then get this man jock landale off my team too give me a charlotte pick why not i don't even want to look through all of them um yeah i only want to do that because schroeder's just going to go into free agency anyway so why not might as well get some value out of them you know elite gm and why did it smoke my rotations faster six scoundrels shea wins mvp cooper flag wins rookie of the year starting starting small forward for us averaging 16 7 and 3 with a steal and a block on 50 80 30 okay dylan harper six man victor dpoi nemhard wins most improved over there in philadelphia that's pretty good was he actually efficient though was, yeah he's pretty good yeah it's pretty good can't even hate michael stauffer 73 and 9 over here in seattle we've built another dream team jason tatum makes the third team just barely jordan on the second team jordan on the defensive first team and cooper flag obviously on the rookie first team because he won the the godforsaken award uh we were almost uh well 14 games better than the thunder so i was gonna say almost 20 so that's not really almost 20 but you know it's close enough closer than 20 than zero we're up three one four one against the rockets and we are playing the thunder in the conference finals here it is the big matchup and it's just their normal team they definitely still have aiden off the bench i would have to guess after we traded him there yeah he had he, he, i mean he's been good he's been pretty good for him i can't lie 100 percent from three i mean come on now it's elite he probably shot one of them milwaukee and philly are the four and six seed playing in the east and we are going up 2-0-2-1 I, I want to say i have a feeling they're gonna tie it yeah okay okay 2-2 two, 2-2 two. Two, two. why is somebody give less minutes to klaxon how would that work oh my god forget whatever the hell they're saying we are smoking them that is one of the worst beatdowns i've seen in the 2k because they scored 86 like that early half that's terrible they they score what is that is that 34 in the first half that's one of the worst games i've ever seen from a team on here i mean at least from a, a conference finals game that's got to be demoralizing there's no way there's just no way we lose this series right we're gonna lose now knock on this deck knock on this desk we're, we're about to lose though it's over yeah it's over we got one more game game seven 
seven. They got their get back. Game seven in a in obviously Seattle because you know home court. We won a million games so far. Smooth sailing, but also not really. They're still kind of right there. They're still within striking distance, even up until this moment. Still are, and they brought it back down to three. They brought it back down to one. Fourth quarter choke right now. Badly. We're now down by four. And screw it. One fifty eight left. I'm jumping in. This is big time. First year with Tatum. Oh, and he's at the line as I as I speak. Tatum will take the the free throw. It's the first of two. That's good. And he, I think we just made a sub. Jordan's back in the game. That's always a good sign. There you go. So the starting lineup's all fully in. Jordan's on Shea. I can't ask for anything better than that. I'll be honest. That's perfect. And then Tatum's kind of roaming down there, guarding Jalen Williams. Shea will step back, close shot. That is just good. He's just unstoppable, I guess. They really need to do an overhaul of his animations, though. It sucks because he's one of the literally maybe the best scorer, like all this stuff. One of the best in his animations. Yeah, and then Luca too. Luca's animations are all too slow. Can't really cook with him that well. Ron Holland's out here trying to cook. It's not working. Pass over Michael. Michael just passes it back to him because he can't shoot. But wait, he's going for a lob? No, Ron Holland's going to have to shoot the three. This man Jordan just broke the play because he had to pass it back because he can't shoot threes. That's crazy. We just saw 80 spacing in the 2000s. And pass down Chet. Bodies Nick Claxton. We are about to lose this game in a crazy fourth quarter choke. Jordan goes left all the way. Floater. That's good. Okay. I mean, hey, it once is, like I said earlier, striking distance. Down four. Leave this man, Josh Giddy. Actually, I wouldn't leave anybody open on this CPU. What's it called on, on this difficulty? Uh, Shea in the post. Shea tries to bully up Mike. He's going to go anyways. He's just he's just that guy, I guess. This man, Mike, never want to take a cool shot like that. He always takes some garbage. Just, yeah, actually, get the ball to Tatum. Get the ball to Jason. Why not? Try that or something. Okay, nope. Mike's got it. Mike's isoing at the top of the key. This man, Shea's defense is going crazy. Back out to Holland. Holland will go to the post. Go right. Go to the basket. Fade away down to Claxton. Claxton back out to Jordan. He hates threes. He's going to pull the pull up midi. That's off. And that's how we lose. This man, Mike, is terrible when I jump into these games. Oh, my God. And we are going to lose and blow that lead after that insane game. What was that? Five? Yeah, that was five. The dominating performance and the Thunder come back in full adversity format. Um, How did, he, how did we play in this? Look, I'm not going to lie. There's really not much gripes to have at this point. It's really just we just sold. Josh Giddy shot three for 15 and we lost. We hit more shots in them on less attempts and we lost we, we shot five for 25 I, you can't see it but you could also just see it up here tatum three for 14 from three that was the main bulk of it oh for three from holland oh for three from wallace oh for one oh for one the only people even hit threes were michael jordan one for one crazily enough three for 14 from tatum and one for two from miles bridges they hit so many more threes than us in that game and the thunder are gonna win the championship so i guess that's still maybe what we gotta address i don't know can what is, what is Mike's three-point rating these days? Hold on. Let me just check. 86? Hold on. Standing three-point shot. Shot three tendency. Dog. You gotta... I'm sorry. You gotta start shooting these more, dog. Because that's that might be a reason why we weren't even more dominant. It's just because of that. And I don't know. Maybe that's also why you're so efficient. Probably. I know 2K tends to do that. But like playoff time, three-pointers attempted. The Pacers shot 49 threes a game and we shoot 23 and a half. Second worst in the league to the Pelicans this season, which is kind of funny. I didn't think there would be a team worse than us, but I guess they have Zion. So there you go. And they uh they didn't make the playoff. What did I turn it up to? Like 40 shot three tendency? Like that's not that crazy. You just gotta like, you can't, I can't be passing you the ball and you don't shoot. Like, yeah, you on the same par as like Cooper Flag or Ron Holland. Maybe I'll even give you like 47 there you go shout to joey shout to capital c's um drew holiday retired we finesse any picks this year probably yeah yep we got a a 13 the bullets are still number one are they gonna fall down again let's see we jumped up to number two from the atlanta pick not sure which one that's definitely that was the eighth one yeah it jumped up to number two we just got lucky and we actually got a higher pick than the bullets um over there in uh baltimore on top of that um but yeah that was a disappointing very disappointing finish hey we could trade tatum for pick one Okay, anyways. Honestly, though? Hold on. Because isn't Luca? Damn, I might run the risk. I'm not even joking. I guess there will... It looks like there will always be trades, but, like, that's the most beautiful just one for one. Now, the dude that goes number one will probably be making, like, 12 million first year anyways, so it's not like you're not trading him for nothing, but, like, all these other guys are going to be, you know, bags to trade for. Now, wait, who's that? This is the uh, Basala Baga Yoke. Oh, no, 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 no. I think it is, but Cameron Boozer, DeBonsta. I don't really want to just get all picks, but I'm not going to lie. I was even saying 
saying it last year, dog. I want I want to see Luca on this team, especially too. We need more threes. Man, Tatum, what was he doing last year? Let's see. Or last few games. I mean, he does his job. Four for 16 is terrible. We won this game too. I can't hate. We we won 75, uh, 73 games, but damn, I really want to. You know what though? This might be the year where uh, I probably get to trade the whole team and just get Luca or someone, another star. Actually, you know what? This probably is the perfect time too, because Ron Holland and Flag are about to hit like that second stage of development. I can get, we have been an insane defensive team, but I think that's also highly dependent on Michael as well. He's on the all defensive teams every year. I might just wait until the free agency period to uh, trade away these guys. Just because I don't want to trade anybody away that I don't have to. With that being said, I'm acting like we don't have the second pick in the draft. Um, shoot, even with that, could I could I like put that with, uh, not Tatum really, that's probably not ideal. Um, Anybody else and get like some insane star? Not looking too insane to me. Good God, move down two picks and get Isaiah Hartenstein. What do I look like an idiot? Don't answer that. All right, screw it. We're just going to go to the draft. NBA draft, first overall pick. Screw it. Go ahead. Take your pick. AJ DeBonsta. We're going to get Cameron Boozer. I mean, this is pretty cool. He's a power forward. He'll go number number two. He can play center. Uh, he, we, we all know how these guys go. They they all play a lot. Um, And actually, we have 13. Hopefully, what's his name? Caden Boozer's still there. That'd be pretty cool. Damn, he got picked. That would have been cool. Bryson Tiller's here. Real Bryson Tiller just dropped a fire. So <laughs> Bryce James is out here. He might actually stay till my... You know what? Screw it. Give me Bryson Tiller. Uh, Bryce James got picked. I'm going to trade this pick. I don't even want a second rounder. Oh, this is still first, but whatever. I can get first from this. Screw it. Give me a Warriors first. Surprised they give me a first for damn near the last pick in the round. And you know what? Those are those are good picks too, because I saw Bryson Tiller was... A, it's so funny to say. Uh, he's a 76 as well, because that means that I could get... I can get rid of Ben Simmons and just play him. We could just, you know what I'm saying? Pull the... Uh, what every great team does and just get rid of their like coveted assets and just start playing great young players. The Spurs, the Celtics are doing it even recently. Um, I'm forgetting one. I'm definitely forgetting one. Luca is here. We are 40 million over. Uh, well, okay. So man, we are. Yeah, we'd have to trade literally 50 million dollars worth of assets um to get him. So that's gonna be hellish. LeBron, shoot, you want to trade 48 million dollars worth of assets to get him? Now there is still the option. I could just trade Jason Tatum. I, I think I'd have to trade him and then some but uh what what is lucas top offers right now oh the nets okay so it's not dallas dallas he hates them i guess so he wants to get out of there everyone's giving him no trade clauses how would he fit next to us what does he do yeah he does everything we need basically he just does that and an actual basketball standpoint i'd be confused on how luca and michael would fit next to each other i guess it would probably fit seamlessly eventually anyways but like i wonder how mike would feel about luca being so ball dominant because i feel like tatum could fit into an offense a little bit better like an actual just like off the ball type of thing men thompson wouldn't be this low key wouldn't be bad. Or a SAR. Damn. Kawhi, $50 million deal. So basically, if I was to trade, oh, damn, I forgot we restructured Paul Reed's contract. So yeah, we're just kind of in cap hell right now. This man, Rob Dillingham, hasn't gotten much better. I'd definitely just trade him at this point. But 50 million, hypothetically, that would be trading. Claxton and Bridges are about 30 million. Then Simmons is about 40 million. And then I guess Wallace and Reed, like you'd have to trade the whole team at that point. But you know what, though? Let me actually see in a, in a logical sense. Um, is there anything we need to like replace, move on from at this point? I do, the team makeup is still fantastic. Obviously it is, but like we can move on from Ben at this point because I just got Boozer and I got Bryson Tiller. I didn't even realize he was a four. Um, He probably won't play this year if if I keep most of these role players. But if I did have to trade them, we could very easily play him and Boozer, put flag at the three. Really the only, um, the only thing that would really have to be filled is another bench score after we got rid of Miles. But also too, we just have Luca, so it's like, come on now and then we'd have to get another center because we'd be getting rid of claxton and it would just literally be whoever's out here affordable in the uh it'd be like yeah like a robert williams or a uh, andre drummond would be i guess not starting you know what actually yeah let's make it let's let's do it let's let's power move it screw it i'm trying to make a dynasty i'm making the move because you know why you know what just hit in my head i'm like oh we just got boozer so boozer's just gonna start at center i'm just gonna start him at center next year i'm gonna get rid of everybody else get get rid of claxton get rid of all these like kind of expendable slightly old Old assets that I rock with, but it's like Luca or you. So boom. Uh to Juan Petaway. No, uh, I'll be honest, we can kind of just finesse, finagle it in any way, but just find a way to get picks for all these guys. I'm literally just trying to just yeah, Spurs. That's crazy. Cause I actually saw that trade a few seasons ago. Um, Spurs especially would be good for Claxton because that wouldn't he might end up posing a threat to us, but he's just gonna be another center behind Victor. So like that doesn't unless they start him together, you know, that doesn't really um, hurt us right now. Oh damn, they got a good couple of 
draft picks too but uh low-key how much cap room do oh they're out of cap room after this okay um all right yeah see you claxton it's been real it's been fun i'm trying to you know trying to really run this like a like a mogul like a boss i don't know screw it i'm playing shark tank um simmons sons we just gonna trade them for picks at this point like yeah we're really doing just an entire overhaul screw it ben simmons to the sons for two picks why not remember this is on 100 trade difficulty i probably get way better stuff than this and then this one really low-key hurts because miles has been really good scoring wise for us uh he averaged even 15 last year in like 18 minutes um i want to say per game something like that maybe 20 yeah 21 minutes per game in the year before 23 minutes per game he averaged 17 points so uh that's that's the guy on here for real you know on here with emphasis but uh baltimore bullets i just seen them offer two picks are these both your picks why are you doing this idiots <laughs> thank you all right where are we stand now luca we're 12 million away from offering the max or whatever so i think that is gonna come down to uh case and wallace and dillingham and i rock with case and i low-key wish i just don't see a way where i could keep him it's really uh it's just i'm trying to make this big three right now we're about to have michael jordan luca Doncic, and jason tatum and then also cooper flag also ron holland also cameron boozer and it's just gonna dominate for years to come so like come on now but yeah uh, case is also about to expire too so that won't matter if we were to get luca right now i'd be able to re-sign him anyways but yeah i rock with you but it's time man I saw brawny on here i low-key wish i could just pick up brawny for the hell of it i don't think we'll have uh, money though i do that and i rock with rob too man i, w I wish but there's there's no I, well, I i could trade uh i could trade paul but like i don't think that adds up to enough right we need 12 million and they add up to 12 million yeah yeah it's been real all right so like minnesota you guys are just offering us this guy basically oh whoops i got rid of him yeah do you guys want to just trade me picks for him i just traded him for one first honestly i didn't feel like bargaining and last but not least boston rob dillingham it's been real luka Doncic. we have enough money now honestly i'm gonna make one more trade paul reed see you too yep we are doing clean full house clean sweep why because i want to be able to okay i actually can't even offer more money screw it we'll just sign another damn that kind of sucks i rock with paul reed it is what it is player i option all the money possible no trade clause please for the love of god he's we're number one we are number one shout out to uh spongebob i don't even want to mess around i guess i could look at some minimum contracts not no mles just minimums just to play safe um so at this point now we're gonna need basically everything luca will play the one jordan at the two back to his natural habitat and then we're gonna have ron holland at the three probably bring cooper flag off the bench this season or one or the other and then boozer you get ready to play the five buddy <laughs> just a complete eviscerate evisceration of a fantastic roster but this is the thing though now we get the ring chasers for real now we get them players out there them nick youngs those uh leandro barbosas those uh I'm just thinking of warriors players the amari spellmans he was definitely drafted there i'm lying so we're gonna need a backup one a backup two and a backup center basically so you can never go wrong wrong with andre drummond come on now come on now i'll take dennis schroeder oh, i didn't realize oh, okay i used all my contract lonnie walker's a good one he, he can he can come around stick around for a bit oh efficient old man dante exum yeah that's what we need around here grayson allen return i mean why not just grab looney on the market for the hell of it any player who wants to come ring chase come ring chase real quick hey see and that's the thing though like i'm only signing minimums because i don't want to mess with nobody else right now and look at this we got luca we got tatum we got mike these two dudes are both about to be like 85 overall shoot i damn near might put tatum at center I'm definitely lying. Yeah, that, that Cameron Boozer pick really wrapped it all together. I would have never done that if it wasn't. I maybe still would have done it, but I would have ideally never done it if it wasn't for that Cameron Boozer pick. Hey, we can still sign Rudy Gobert. And that's low-key a good pick pickup because he stays pretty good until he's pretty old and he kind of does his job well. That's the one thing. I think Cameron Boozer tends to shoot a lot. And it's like, we don't really need a shooting center in the starting five. Although we did just get Drummond. So it's not like we need a center in general, but eh, I might I might sign the man Rudy Gobert. Oh, Marcus Smart is also these are some good these are some good looks right here i'm not gonna lie who can give us either the most bench buckets probably like a cole anthony Ooh, is cj mccollum really affordable oh snap nah actually it might be forget cj mccollum i just found one better with all due respect to cj um and yeah with all due respect to gobert i just think that cam boozer will, will do well holding down that center spot i think we're really gonna need help still with the bench the bench is terrible let me get io dosunmu let me get him 
because uh, whatever he wants the most contract wise, give him all the money as well. Yep. Welcome to the team. Um, I already know that his, his shot tendency is not high enough. It's at a 53. He already averaged 11 points on really efficient numbers last year. Put him up to 80. I don't give a damn. You're going to be 1000%. Well, actually, you're not going to be the six man because we still have uh, one of them two small forwards. Flag or Ron Holland's going to be on the bench, but that's going to be you, him, Dennis Schroeder, Dante Exum, and Andre Drummond. Fantastic. Can we still afford CJ McCollum? Shoot, we about to have, I mean, forget defense, I guess, but uh, I wasn't really too confident in Dennis Schroeder anyways. If we could still afford CJ McCollum, give me him too. Yeah, two year. Let's go three year. Mulling offers. Don't you dare now. Don't. Man, you have one offer. McCollum might hit a crazy uh, downward spiral right now, though. I'm not going to lie. I'll just trade him next offseason. I'll be honest. DJ, welcome to the team. Oh, look at Aiden over here mulling through the free agency. And actually, uh, wait, matter of fact, how many players do we have? We have 15 on the dot. Call it a day. Sign some two-way contract. Shoot, we damn near might need you, you scrub. Is Dash Daniels, Dyson Daniels, brother? I feel like I've asked that before. Built Mike Jordan, a super team. He's a 94 overall now. Ron Holland's an 85. Cooper Flag's an 84. I give Ron the start of nine this season um he's oh uh, they both kind of can't shoot threes damn but oh never mind cooper shot better than him in his first year i might start him just off of that alone we've had issues with that in the past so um yeah he, he might dante got worse mccollum got way worse hey i tried but you know we'll see we'll see what rotation i put out there it'll probably be like a nine man with some trash bryson tiller is gonna play 1000 i'm watching the celebrity game right now i'll manifest that one of these decades i'll get a spot in that thing one of these maybe like 2050s i gotta at least have you know what i'm saying full head of gray old that's really when you peak so you know it's only fair also yeah this is actually the rotation um i figured it out we are going with you know actually i'm a lower my god i was talking about lower in bench minutes but i didn't even use all the, these other minutes yet actually it'll it'll work out yep that's perfect so we got luca mike cooper flag tatum boozer and then we got ron holland off the bench with 27 minutes io drummond and bryson tiller as the two bigs and then forget everybody else this man cj mccollum fell off a cliff damn near about to trade him right now now we'll keep you around for a second why not luca won mvp 23 9 and 12 a game oh damn cam boozer won rookie of the year as well mike stauffer we were 71 and 11 i think that's two wins worse not worried about it honestly they might even look at like uh contract extensions it is what it is luca made the first team obviously he won mvp and we had nobody else make the all nba team he just took the team jordan made the second defensive team cam a rookie of the year 71 11 is a good 13 games better than the rockets thunder fell a little bit this year and yeah luca just averaged a well-rounded stat line but him tatum and jordan basically they all round, round, averaged well-rounded stat lines to be fair but they split their points also i think mike started shooting more this year so that's good he shot 43 from three shooting more threes sorry meant to include that and then uh io bryson and drummond seem like pretty good bench additions so there you go uh bryson might have been negatives and estimated wins but screw it we dealt with that for years anyways all right can we run through the playoffs please thank you first round dominance second round okc 4-1 and conference finals up 2-0 up 2-1 up 3-1 and we're in the finals for the first time in a long time donovan mitchell the man i passed up on kelly Oubre also there tried to get him a while back and um they've got the same team as usual it does help that 2k has been lowering darius is rating this season so he's only an 88 instead of like a 95 in uh in the progression but we scored 141 yeah it's it's uh it's not gonna be pretty is it 20 point win next game oh snap they got a game watch they get two no nope. four point win and screw it for the elimination and we won we won by three i was watching the sim cast slowly i wasn't gonna jump in screw it 26 10 and 12 a game from luca um you know what this sounds like to me run it back run it back till we lose i don't give a damn CJ McCollum retired. See ya. Sayonara. Oh, we, we finessed draft lottery again. We got the fifth pick. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. We need it. We actually need it. It's weird because usually around these times, I don't need these picks. But uh, how many do we got in this draft? We got five, 15. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Trade these two. We might just need like three picks though. I'll take a top three protected from the Pacers. That must mean they kind of suck. Yeah, I'll take the three picks. Screw it. 2027 draft. Elijah Arenas. Actually, wait. Do we have any uh one year guys? Yeah, I didn't play Allen. I didn't play X. Them. they're both old i didn't play schroeder screw it just throw them all three in the trade nope never mind i just finessed the jazz i got pick 12 and pick 13 for dennis dante and grayson allen that's very good screw it let's just do it um fifth pick iran stokes marcus johnson what do we need we actually yeah marcus johnson pg we kind of needed one of them we had dennis no we had a uh, was dennis playing he might have been playing yeah but uh dosunmu was playing screw it i'll just take you whatever let's just keep it pushing all right you 
next pick damn these dudes got no potential what the hell all star all okay all nba we could work with all nba i'll grab you center where the hell the rest of my picks go it's saying oh it's because i have the next one screw it Kadem samuels you, it says you will all star too i'm not gonna lie this draft is trash though so i'm trading these picks give me these future picks from whoever i don't even care who it is Derek white for pick 14 damn Celtics said hold on let me let's clean house i mean shoot i know he's kind of old but zach levine sounds like a bench scorer to me man dame is 37 now i'm not gonna lie when him and anthony davis get old and like Kyrie, i'm gonna feel super old because that's my that's really my generation tatum got worse for some reason kate cameron boozer went up to an 84 ron holland cooper might be capped but that's fine rotation is basically the same except levine's here now and i throw kevon looney a few minutes just because uh drumming got too old i mean tatum shoot we champions dog you can resign right now get it over with we are 45 and 6 i'm looking back and i see one of the one loss was right here by one point another one by one point another one by nine points 11 points there you go orlando gave us a little fight 20 points and then uh atlanta six uh, uh four points four points we're number one in defensive rating number one in offensive rating and we got better at threes taken i think we're still it we're still bottom 10 but we're not you know bottom one with these pelicans now luca wins another mvp cooper flag six minutes i benched him i did it on accident but it worked supersonics first team uh luca jordan on the third team sorry i kind of didn't make it your team but like i rebuilt the team though shoot i don't think i've ever put luca and tate maybe i have oh yeah i just realized i just simulated through the whole playoffs without second thought cameron boozer shoot game seven win 146 109 rockets gave us a good run for our money after we didn't lose the game in the first two rounds playing the magic in the finals this was that one team that beat us by a good amount of points that one time they were the first seed that's interesting they're like the same team build wise when the first one by 30 when the second one by 20 when the third one oh yeah the east just weak as hell by seven and that's it luca finals mvp shoot i'm going for the three peat at least andre Drummond retired salute and we got the fourth pick i i didn't even trade for any picks this year like i had expiring players i just actually i might have made one i already forgot did i even put in the right draft class uh this looks un unreasonably just new so yeah who the hell is this draft them jalen mitchell starter Ugh. starter how about this guy starter no nah, well screw it. we need starters i guess i don't know where the hell did these other picks come from oh i think never mind whatever yeah we had a lot of these hey guess who's about to get a bag ron holland and michael jordan not too much though man michael jordan tried to leave get the hell out of here oh uh, we've needed a center for like 20 years do i i guess i don't have any money for one or they just all suck screw it i'll take charles bassey actually let's not sign anybody until we sign our guys i'm not risking a damn thing one more time we've kind of needed a new center for a little while so i'll take them although we did just draft rookies maybe someone there can play um luca's down to a 96 really don't care cameron boozes up to an 89 cooper flags up to an 88 he's probably gonna take his starting spots back bryson tiller don't, don't play with a dump you decide oh snap the rising stars game is on but guess what it's not when you're watching this because you know video we got 18 players on the roster all right get ready to trade somebody matter of fact player progression who the hell fell off probably zach levine yep there goes zach levine who else on the team uh zach levine i'm gonna just trade zach levine in the two worst players or something like that just traded two guys we drafted for two first and traded zach levine for a first really just simple as that well this dude marcus johnson got pretty good now too damn you gonna take levine's spot got him io bryson tiller and charles bassey 36 minutes to the big three luca wins another one we won 75 damn we got a new coach i didn't even know true whatever happened it worked though first round oh we lost the first game got out of there second round smoked them third round against okc 2-1 3-1 and yeah i think i won i think i won let's see um paulo finals 2-0 3-0 and 4-0 could get six like mike i might actually do it nah i lied the three peats good enough all right it's been real it's been fun but ain't been real fun let me know what the hell you want to see next you can subscribe to the channel if you feel like it you got free will buddy go watch another video they'll be on the screen don't think i've ever said that before and i'll see you around cut